Today we have another game in an LGS, this time at D6 Games in Rochester, Minnesota. I'm playing my new-ish Chise Heart of Oceans deck, and I'm up against David playing Ayula, Queen Among Bears, Bill playing Captain Gamer Word, and Ethan playing Adeline, Resplendent Cathar. Here's the deal. I'm not running any cards that have only been printed in Commander Precon, Commander Legends, Universes Beyond, reprints of said cards in promos, masters, or set boosters, cards that mention the command zone, and I can't believe I have to start saying this now, uncards. Ethan starts with the planes, then passes. I play a Halmar Depths, rearranging my top three. David plays a Lanawar Reborn. Bill plays Bikakoro, center of the sea. Ethan plays a Plains, then casts an Arcane Signet. I play an Island, then pass. David plays what looks like a Snow Forest, then casts Ayula, Queen Among Bears. He moves his Graft Counter from Lanawar Reborn to Ayula, then passes turn. Bill plays a Swamp, then passes. Ethan plays a Plains, then casts Adeline, Resplendent Cathar. I play a Seat of the Synod, then cast a Mitotic Manipulation, looking at the top seven cards of my library and then putting an island from them into play untapped. David plays what looks like another Snow Forest, then casts a Dragon Scarred Bear. He triggers Ayula, putting two counters on her, and then moves to combat, sending Ayula at Ethan for five commander damage. With nothing else, he passes. Bill plays a Command Tower, then passes. During Ethan's upkeep, Bill activates Mika Koro to have everyone draw a card. He plays a Plains for turn, then casts Daxos, Blessed by the Sun. He follows it up with a Halo Fountain, then moves to combat, attacking with Adeline, triggering her effect to make three human tokens also attacking us. Adeline herself goes at me, and I take six damage, five of which is commander damage. Because I am a smart magic player, I wait until the end step to Pongify Adeline, giving Ethan a monkey. I start with an island, then cast my general, Chise, Heart of Oceans. I follow it up with a Mystic Remora, then pass turn. David starts his turn by casting Winding Way, hoping to find a land. He finds a snow forest and plays it for turn, then casts a M11, Japanese, Foil, Runeclaw Bear, and has Ayula fight Daxos when it enters the battlefield. He goes to combat, sending Ayula and the Dragon Scarred Bear at Bill, and I ask if he paid four for the Winding Way, which he certainly did not, letting me draw a card. Bill takes 8 damage, 5 of which is Ayula damage, then passes. Bill plays a Castle Lockthwain untapped, then casts a Coalition Relic. I ask if he wants to pay 4, and he declines, drawing me a card. With no other plays, he passes turn. Ethan plays a Plains, then casts a Wedding Announcement. He follows it up with a Devout Chaplain, then goes to combat, sending 2 human tokens at Bill. At the end of his turn, he puts a counter on the Wedding Announcement and draws a card. I start my turn by layering upkeep triggers. I put Chise's on first, then Mr. Grimoire's, paying the one for the age counter that gets placed upon it, and then remove the counter with Chise to keep it in play. I put an island into play as my land for turn, then cast the Mirari Conjecture. Chapter 1 has me return Pongify back to my hand, and I pass turn. David plays a Tranquil Thicket as his land for turn, then casts a Druid's Familiar. The Soul Bond goes on the Dragon Scar Bear, and Ayula puts two 1 1 counters on the Rune Claw Bear. He moves to combat, sending Ayula at me and the Dragon Scar Bear at Ethan, and the Rune Claw Bear at Bill. With no blocks, we all take damage, and he passes through his phases. During the end step, Bill put a counter on his Coalition Relic. Bill removes a charge counter to make black mana, and then plays a Rogue's Passage. He casts an Uchulon, and then moves through his phases to his end step, exiling Game Trail Changeling to Uchulon to make a copy of itself. Ethan starts by tapping two tokens in his Devout Chaplet to exile my Mystic Remora. He follows it up with a Court Street Denizen, then activates his Halo Fountain to untap his two tokens to draw a card. He moves through his phases to the end step, and since he didn't attack, he makes a Human Creature token, tapping the original copy of Uchulon. I start with an upkeep trigger from Chise, removing a counter from the Mirari Conjecture. While on the upkeep, I cast my Pongify to destroy the Devout Chaplet, then move to draw. Chapter 1 starts again on Mirari Conjecture, and I return Pongify back to my hand. I cast a Mnemonic Wall to return Mitotic Manipulation to my hand. With no other plays, I pass turn. David casts an Icon of Ancestry, choosing Bear as it enters. He moves to combat, sending Ayula and the Dragon Scar Bear at me, and the other two bears at Bill. I Pongify Ayula, then block the Rune Scarred Bear with my Mnemonic Wall. Bill declares no blocks and takes ten. He passes through his phases to the end step, and Bill activates Mika Koro to have everyone draw a card. Bill casts the Plant Tadpole's half of Ithilid Harvester to tap all of David's creatures. He passes through his phases to its end step, where he exiles Ethan's Devout Chaplain and Daxos to make two more copies of Uchulon. Ethan plays a Blighted Step, then casts a Mindstone. 
He casts Path to Exile to exile Chise, giving me an island, then casts Adeline, tapping the original Uchalon with the Court Street Denizen. He goes to combat, sending his monkeys at David, and Adeline triggers, giving him another three humans attacking each of us. Court Street Denizen taps down all of Bill's creatures, and everyone takes damage because no one can block. Moving to his end step, he puts another counter on the wedding announcement to draw a card, and that's enough to flip it into wedding festivity, giving all of his creatures plus one plus one. I start my turn with the Marari Conjecture going up to chapter two, but have no sorceries to return with my hand. I cast Imprisoned in the Moon, targeting Adeline, turning her into a land with no abilities. I cast a Power Conduit, then pass turn. David's bears don't untap, and he starts his turn. He casts a Vanquisher's Banner, naming Bear, then passes his turn. Bill casts a Reflections of Lijara, then ends his turn, exiling two more creatures to make two more copies of Uchula. He then plays a Plains Returner, then casts a Cathar's Crusade. I cast Venser Shaper Savant to return that spell back to his hand, and he follows that up with a generous gift on Imprisoned in the Moon, destroying it and giving me an elephant that I represent with a Rapid Hybridization token. He goes to combat, sending Adeline, five human tokens, and a citizen token at me, creating three additional humans tapped and attacking, tapping down my creatures and one from Bill, and I die, while Bill blocks a token and David takes two. David starts his turn by casting Ayula, drawing him a card. He then casts a bear cub, having his dragon scar bear fight Adeline, destroying them both. He declares that the druid's familiar is soul bonding to Ayula, which makes no sense, and I hope it doesn't make a difference because that's not how soul bond works, then moves to combat. Sends the Druid's Familiar and the Rune Claw Bear at Ethan. Ethan activates his Halo Fountain to untap a Citizen Token, creating another one, and tapping down Ayula and blocking the bears with the tokens. He has no other plays, so in passes turn. Bill taps his Coalition Relic to put a Charge Counter on it. Bill removes his Charge Counter on the Coalition Relic for mana, then plays a Myriad Landscape as his land for turn. He goes to combat and sends two Uchalans at Ethan, and he declares no blocks, taking 12. He moves to its end step and exiles David's Dragon Scar Bear to make another Uchulon token. Ethan starts his turn by activating his Blighted Step to gain what looks like 16 life. He follows that up with a Cathar's Crusade, and Bill is ready with Silumgar's Command to counter it and bounce his wedding festivity. He doesn't attack and pass his turn. David casts an Ayula's Influence, then casts a Bearscape. He discards a land to make a bear token, which has Ayula fight the Court Street Denizen to kill it, and then goes to combat, sending Bear Cub. Rune Club Air and Druid's Familiar at Ethan. Ethan chump blocks with some human tokens, and David passes his turn. Bill casts a Mind's Dilation, then moves to combat, sending six Uchalons at Ethan. He declares no blocks and goes to one, and Bill exiles another creature to make another Uchalon. Ethan casts a Skull Clamp, and Bill's Mind's Dilation exiles a Plains off the top. He clamps his human tokens to draw a total of six cards. He casts some Hammers of Moradin, then passes his turn. David plays a Hickory Woodlot, then casts a Lead the Stampede. Bill exiles a Collected Company off the top and puts Zelix, Sanity Flayer, and Wharf Infiltrator onto the battlefield. David shows a Pale Bears, a Herd Bailoth, and Wilson Refined Grizzly, putting them into his hand. He casts his Pale Bears and has it fight the Hammers of Moradin to destroy it. He goes to combat, sending the Druid's Familiar, Rune Claw Bear, and Ayula at Ethan, and the Young Bear and the Ape Token at Bill. Ethan dies, and Bill blocks the young bear with the Wharf Infiltrator and the token with an Uchalon. Bill again plays a land without naming it, and I'm giving up at this point, since he turns everything sideways and it's enough to get a good game from David, making him the victor.